Manchester United is one of the most successful clubs of all time. Let's take a look at their history. Manchester United was founded in 1878, but under a different name. It actually started as Newton Heath Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway. Workers in the railway yard at Newton Heath indulged their passion for association football with games against other departments of the LYR and other railway companies. The first ever recorded game for the club was on November 20th, 1888, where they were battered 6-0 by the Bolton Wanderers reserve team. By 1888, the Football League was created, but Newton Heath didn't think they were ready to compete at that level, so they helped form a regional football league called the Combination. The Combination would dissolve before the end of its first season, so Newton Heath joined the newly formed Football Alliance, which ran for three seasons before being merged with the Football League. The 1892-93 season was their first season in the Football League, but they ended up getting relegated after just two seasons in the top flight. The club would end up being on the verge of folding when a local brewery owner, John Henry Davies, decided to invest in the club in return for running it. He workshopped a few different names for the club over the years like Manchester Central and Manchester Celtic, but they would end up settling on Manchester United in April of 1902. By 1903, they appointed who was widely considered their first manager, Ernest Mango. After about 12 years, Man U would return to the top flight, and to celebrate, they signed Billy Meredith from rivals Manchester City. By the 1907-08 season, United would win their first Football League title, and in 1909, they won their first FA Cup. Between 1915 to 1919, competitive football was suspended due to World War I, and many teams lost players in the war. In 1922, United got relegated to the second division, got promoted back in 1925, then relegated again in 1931, and James W. Gibson invested £2,000 and took control of the club. By 1934, they reached their lowest point, dropping to 29th in the second division. United was promoted after the 1938 season, and the 39-40 season was cut short due to World War II. The 1945-46 season was when football resumed after the war. Matt Busby was appointed manager this season. Busby led the team to three consecutive second-place finishes in the top flight and led the team to an FA Cup victory in 1948. In 1952, United won the Division League title, making it their first in 41 years. Busby fielded a young squad with an average age of 22 known as the Busby Babes. The Babes ended up winning back-to-back -back titles in 1956 and 1957, but tragically on February 6, 1958, United had their darkest ever day. On their trip back from a European Cup quarterfinal, the airplane carrying the Manchester United players, officials, and journalists crashed after refueling in Munich, Germany. The crash was known as the Munich Air Disaster, and it killed 23 people, including 8 Manchester United players, and injuring several more. After the horrible disaster, Busby rebuilt the team around players like George Best, Bobby Charlton, and Dennis Law. Then in 1968, after rebuilding their club, they won the European Cup final, becoming the first English side to win this title. Fast forward all the way to 1986, Manchester United appoints Alex Ferguson as manager. In 1990, he would lead United to win an FA Cup. During his entire career at Manchester United, Sir Alex won 38 trophies, including 13 Premier League titles, 5 FA Cups, and 2 Champions League titles. The man is the absolute goat of managers. Sir Alex managed some pretty incredible players during his time at United, like David Beckham, Eric Cantona, Cristiano Ronaldo, Wayne Rooney, Paul Scholes, Ryan Giggs, and so many more. At the end of the 2012-2013 season, Sir Alex retired, winning his 13th Premier League title. The years following Sir Alex's departure haven't been that fruitful at all, but now in 2023 with Eric Ten Hag at the helm, Manchester United won their first trophy in six years, and they could potentially win two more this season. Let me know in the comments which club I should do next.